Hi guys, it's Jordan. Um, I hate the fact that I'm on here without makeup, but whatever. Um, so I wanted to start from scratch because I don't even remember what I put in the videos from last year or two years or three years ago, something like that. I think 2017. So I was going to start from scratch. Um, if I have to take a little break, it's because my jaw is like killing me right now. But, um, I wanted to tell, so I wanted to start with telling the story about how I was uh, diagnosed with TSC, which is tuberous sclerosis um, complex. And um, so I was diagnosed at a very young age. I was diagnosed at six months old. Um, how I got my seizures was my mom and dad was at a restaurant called Shorty's in Hoxstead, New Hampshire. And, um, funny thing is that actually just became significant to me and that became my first restaurant because of the significance of, um, I had my first seizure there, but, um, so, uh, my mom took me to the Elliott Hospital. My dad didn't think I had seizures at all, but my mom took me to the Elliott Hospital and the nurse told her that I never had a seizure and I wasn't having seizures or whatever. And my mom was like, yes, she is. Like, I saw her eyes roll to the back of her head. They're like, no, no. And then finally I had a seizure and they obviously saw it and diagnosed me with it. And But they didn't really know what was going on with me. Back then this was 1995 as well. So you have to think that... Um, I don't even know if Doctors at Elliot right now is um, too experienced with tuberous sclerosis, even now. But back then, like, not at all. So they shipped me out to Boston Children's Hospital in Massachusetts. And like I said, I don't know how well they were even um, experienced with tuberous sclerosis back then. But now they have their own... Um, clinic or something I don't know if it's like a just a piece of the hospital that specializes in that um, area so um, and that's how I was diagnosed with tuberous sclerosis going there and they um, checking me out and seeing in my brain that I had it so um, I had 50 to 60 seizures a day and I um, couldn't walk or talk when I was supposed to. They tried me on a bunch of medicines. I have papers of when I was a little um, girl, uh, baby, because my parents kept that as memories. It may seem weird to you, but I actually also have, I had surgery at 18 months and I have in a little pill bottle somewhere a piece of my hair that they actually took out and um, so at 18 months they decided to give me brain surgery after nothing else was working no meds no anything and they um, removed the largest tuber from my brain and eventually I stopped eventually the next day I was walking and talking like it was nothing like a walking miracle, right? And, um, yeah, so I was told that I would, I still had to go see a doctor every once in a while in Massachusetts at that hospital to check everything, check all the other organs, because ov obviously um, some organs can get TSC in them later on in life, which... I'll tell you about it in a second, but, um, yeah, so for 14 years, I never had a seizure, but, um, at 16 years old, I had an eating disorder from just being a teenager and, um, well, actually it does run in my family, but I don't know if it was from that or just from me, and, um, I got my seizures back after I was so pale and worn out and um, 
skinny. I went to the bathroom, which I, this is the story that I haunts me, but I went to the bathroom and um, thank God my mom got home with my brother and his cousin because if they hadn't, um, I probably, I don't know what would happen, would have happened. Um, timing is everything. Um, but, um, so I ended up going to the bathroom, passing out, and then I woke, I, the only thing I remember was, um, waking up in the ambulance, hearing, not seeing anything, but hearing that, hearing my brother say, it's okay, Jay, it's okay. I had no idea what happened, but, um, that was kind of a trigger for my seizures to come back. Um, and... They said it was more fainting than seizures, but eventually the seizures took hold, I guess. And, um, so, sorry, my, I have, like, a hard time breathing and speaking at the same time, so, yeah, it was really rough because I had just, I had been told that my seizures would never come back, so... And although doctors aren't always right, you always hope, like, when you're a child, you always hope, yeah, like, I, they never will come back, and that's, that's, um, awesome, but they did, and, you know, as a teenager, I kind of, like, was already such a brat, such a, you know, friends tell me that, when friends tell me back then, I was, like, so rude to them, and, I believe it, but like I said to them, like, you have to expect that a 16-year-old girl is going through changes and things already with her, you know, puberty, but also going through seizures as well it makes it 10 times harder. So, you know, I don't think it was, it's a good excuse to treat anybody poorly, but that's all I can tell them, you know, like, I know they're not going to understand, um, because nobody really understands my disease, no one really understands me, um, you know, I don't want to call doc, like, I'm not saying doctors aren't smart, I'm saying doctors are very smart in finding out the physical, um, the physical reasons why we have this issue. I'm saying that I'm not a robot and doctors can't tell a single person how a single person is feeling because my, the way I feel inside isn't the way you feel inside, you know? And I feel like they treat me like a robot. Like everything the doctor said is what it is and it's not like, I'm also a person, you know, I have feelings, I have, um, thoughts, everything that a normal human being has, I have, except for added disease, so, um, yeah, now, I'm 26 now, so I've had, um, seizures for 10 years, I've learned so much on how to, just be a better person and like I said because people say to me I don't know what what you did to deserve this blessing or something and I say you know it's not a curse because other people say it's a curse but I say it's not a curse it's a blessing and the reason why I was blessed for it like if you've heard the common um the common uh saying the God gives the toughest soldiers the hardest battles. And then I also think that it's just, you know, I wouldn't want anybody else to have this. I wouldn't wish, you know, if I didn't take it, like, I don't want someone else to take it for me. I'd rather take it. I'm not that selfish of a person, and I've learned a lot from this disease. Like, I, I feel like sometimes definitely I wish I didn't have it. But then again, I um, learned so much from having it in life and life experiences and it's teached me to be a better person and to treat people better and 
not to be selfish and be more giving than taking. And back then, before my seizures, I wasn't like that at all. I was the complete opposite. I was very selfish, very uh, taking instead of giving, and um, just very, like, uh, even when I first started having seizures, I was very, I'm trying to find the right word for it, um, very... I don't want to see the B-I-T-C-H word, but it's kind of that. And, um, I don't know, like, I was, every, like, everybody leave me alone, because I don't want, I don't want to be, um, told anything. I don't want to be told that I'm different than other people, because I'm not, and that pisses me off. And I, I told, tell them that all the time, and... Even now, they still look at me like I'm different, and I'm not. I'm just like everybody else. I just have a tougher time because I have this disease, which causes concentration issues, which causes learning issues and other things. I just can't do some of the things that normal people can do. But I get through it. Like, I, I'm fine with being me honestly now. I'm fine with being who I am. I'm a strong person. Because you can't say, some people can't even say that they're strong as we are. I am or we are. And um, sometimes people are not just, people are not gonna understand who we are and we have to get over that because we have to live our lives and um, it's hard to live your life when you, uh, when you know people are judging you or people are getting on your booty about things and, uh, yeah, so, um, I do, so that is how I got my TSC. Um, I do do more videos. I'm not going to post everyone on here because it's not always going to be TSC related, but I was allowed to post this one because it is a TSC story related. Um, so if you would like to, subscribe to my channel and um, you will see more videos for me. And I'm actually going to put um, a link down for our donation site or link um so that will be down in the description like my videos and um i'll see you soon